Yo, what's up everybody? Brian with you from the game Common, and we're back playing some more Stellaris. It's been about a year since we played some Stellaris. Steam told me I had not played this game since about last April, which yeah, seems about right. So there hadn't been a whole lot with Stellaris over the last few months. There was a Necroid uh, Species DLC pack, which was a kind of minor update, which I never checked out, but we'll check that out today. But the big news is today the Nemesis DLC launched, and this is a pretty big update. So Nemesis has a lot of major things. The biggest and probably most important is the fact that you can actually become the nemesis so in every Stellaris game if you've never seen it before um, like I'd say about halfway through the game or so a late game crisis basically happens and there's like one of five different crises that can happen now you can actually pick an ascension perk which actually allows you to become the crisis and so essentially it becomes you against the entire galaxy who's trying to stop you so that seems pretty freaking cool not entirely sure all the different options and all the different things we'll be able to do but I'm excited to actually play that and try that a couple other major things they added in they reworked the espionage system so it works a lot more like the uh, ancient Ancient relic pack which is really cool so it's a lot more story driven now uh, there's like different steps and then each step kind of has like a different uh, narrative to it so that any anything with extra narratives in this game I'm all for because like Stellaris I think one of the best thing about it is just the stories you tell and along the same lines with telling a little bit better stories is now your first contact also is a little more story driven so instead of just having a random pop-up where it's like hey we met aliens everyone's like woo no now it's like a little bit longer of a narrative where you can like maybe they can like abduct someone from the other planet like I, I don't I, I just only watched a little bit of it but it sounds pretty freaking cool and it's more narrative driven which I love and then the last thing is they actually changed the Galactic Council now. They added a custodian feature when the crisis is currently live. So what that means is if you are in charge of the Galactic Council, you can vote yourself as the custodian, which essentially gives you like lifetime powers until the crisis ends. So it's like, hey, I'm going to be in charge of the whole Galactic Empire so or the Galactic Council, just so we don't have to like change hands. And, you know, I'm just going to be in charge of managing this until we complete the crisis, which with that, you get a couple extra uh, new features and stuff like that but what's really interesting is once the crisis is over you can actually change it from you know the galactic republic now to the first galactic empire which is kind of cool like you can go straight star wars on it and basically refuse to give up your lifetime powers and then at that point basically become an imperial authority and then there's like a whole rebellion system that comes out with it as well so it basically once the crisis is over you're kind of creating a whole nother crisis which is rather interesting so the problem for that is we can either go the nemesis route become the nemesis or we can fight against the nemesis become the custodian and then uh become the galactic empire afterwards i think we're gonna go ahead and do the nemesis just because you know that's the namesake for it but i have to be honest going ahead and like making the uh empire sounds really freaking fun so we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new game obviously we're gonna always create our brand new civ so uh i did mention they did end up creating another necroid dlc uh, it's just a species pack. Let's see. So they added some new Necrophid Origins. There's three new Civics, Death Cult, Reanimated Armies, and Memorialists. And then 15 new portraits, plus one Necroid Machine, and the new ship model, Advisor Voice, Cityscape, Namus, and uh, Room Backdrop. So essentially, we're basically kind of like this undead... Um, we're basically like an undead leader where we can kind of control undead armies and stuff like that if you pick those particular civics um i'm assuming this is the machine one which looks really freaking cool dude like all these are like freaking baller man like i really kind of like this guy he kind of looks like a really creepy cute elephant that's also like this undead like you know you think necrophage or, or necrophage and i mean yeah these guys really pop out but then you get him and it's just like he's kind of like um just this really cool death cult which i think is kind of be what we're gonna end up going with i think we want to do a little more religious a little more death culty yeah i'm gonna go with him because i kind of like him what kind of species name do we want here Vlet soren uh do we want to be the cult of soren I kind of actually like that. Um, the cults of Sauron. Sauron? You know, and so essentially what happened, I think if we're going to make a backstory on these guys, this is just kind of my basic idea. So, you know, it was a pretty normal world, and then eventually this death cult, uh, the death cult of Sauron, or just the, de the cult? I kind of like the death cult of Sauron. 
so this death cult kind of uh, rose up then and they basically started practicing you know maybe this world was a little more like D&D ish you know with orcs and stuff like that you know a little more fantasy base and then these guys as a death cult kind of rose up and kind of basically took control of it with necrophage and you know reanimating undeads and all that fun stuff I like it I like it humanoid lithid no 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 we want the necroid please uh esla noki no tense no 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 that's way too love day what no i think we're gonna go with this uh which yeah these are all weird though feather wisp fleet eh, from times ahead in fire shaped miss the brave i can't actually like that don't like the names but i like the fleet names here progressor oh <laughs> procession brian actually you know what procession is kind of a great name for a fleet then riddle daughter yeah this is a lot more cult sounding i like it i like it i like it so we get basically some traits were these traits i don't think they were we're gonna definitely go for the bad guy to actually become the nemesis you gotta do a lot of bad guy stuff and normally in this game i'm usually kind of like a nice person so we're gonna definitely go straight up evil here um i think i'm okay with being decadent which is gonna actually give us another point which is always nice deviance eh, repugnant i mean i kind of feel like we should also be repugnant we are a freaking death cult that is constantly surrounded by dead bodies <laughs> Just throwing that one out there. Just throwing that one out there. Okay, leader lifespan plus 80 years does kind of seem nice. Usually I end up going with the science or something like that. Agrarian, eh. I mean, we have a bunch of dead people. We don't need food. The other thing with the necroids is you can actually like sacrifice your pops for something. Apparently the necroid like, um, uh, 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 government and ethics aren't that great so we'll I don't know if they got changed with the new patch today but we'll have to see we'll have to see I think I think I am gonna go end up rolling with um what which which one was it not deviance resilient where's it's a four one venerable yeah I think we should become venerable because I think you could argue that there's something about you know longer lifespans and we've gotten the longer lifespans essentially because of our necromancy, something along those lines. So we have one point right now. So we can pick two more traits. So we could take one more negative or just get uh, one positive. I kind of like engineering. That one's always great. Physicist, sociologist, adaptive. We can't actually get that. We could become non-adaptive. I don't hate non-adaptive. Rapid breeders would actually not be bad either. Especially if we're going to sacrifice. Talented is leader level cap. That actually is really good with venerable. Now the thing is, honestly, in the scheme of things, venerable is not one of the better traits in the game to pick. Just because, I mean, having leaders that are live longer basically gives you better stats. But ultimately, you only end up with like, what, 10, 15 leaders? I think I'd rather just have a base you know extra 15 percent science you know something along those lines i almost feel like i should have it but quick learners now see i'd rather have the higher level clap cap because we don't need quick learners because we got the extra life traditional is unity from jobs that is interesting yeah that kind of fits us as well man strong is always great but i don't think we need it because we're going to probably be using an undead army so i don't know us fighting is that particularly great um solitary pop housing usage that actually might not be a bad negative yeah that actually might not be a bad negative solitary which would then give us two which then we could become rapid breeders i don't feel like we're rapid breeders i don't know i just look at him and he doesn't look like someone that gets it on a lot <laughs> Just gonna throw that one out. So let's become talented. I mean, we had to be fairly talented here to, you know, become a death cult. And maybe that's like the whole thing. We just sacrifice people that aren't actually talented enough for us. I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and I want to do a wet climate, please. Homeworld name, Fleet Cairn. Mm, no, I don't like that. Sand for Sander for Marbell. Terry Moat. What? Any any system here? You know what? What's a random unitary? Homeworld is a moon orbiting a gas giant. Determines the layout, but not the location. I actually kind of like this. 
You know, I have done the binary. I think I've done the trinary before, which are always cool. Void dwellers for humans with void dweller origin. Shattered ring. Yeah, I like shattered ring. Uh, void dwellers. Isn't this one? I think void dwellers is nomadic, if I recall correctly. Soul system. Eh. Deneb system. I don't know what that one's for. I think I want to do the random unary. I think that one sounds kind of cool. Uh, Abacon. Eh. Eh. Uh, Entropy's promise. Night birth. Yeah, that one sounds pretty freaking cool. And I like the idea of wet. These guys kind of seem like they're ocean versus tropical. Yeah, yeah. Now, I usually almost always do wet. I like never do dry or frozen, but whatever. Who cares? Okay, and we're definitely going to do the Necroid City, which looks freaking baller. All right, so what is this? Origin. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Prosperous Unification. Start the game with four pops and an additional two districts. Eh. Mechanist. Start the game with eight pops being robots. Synthetic Evolution. A second species. That actually is not a horrible idea, but we have played that one recently. Uh, Life Seeded. Possibly designed just for them. Gaia World with several rare plant features. Is set to Gaia World preference, making other type of plants undesirable. Eh. Eh, post-apocalyptic. That one's interesting. Because you could say the Necroids actually came out of the apocalypse. Oh, that is interesting. Remnants. Nah, I don't like remnants. What's sign? Fallen Empire. Nah, nah. Void Dwellers. Yeah, no. Shattered Ring is very interesting. But I also don't think so. Galactic Doorstep. Dormant Gateway. Yeah, tree of life. High gauge bonuses now. On the shoulder of giants, civilization has hidden boons in their solar system, placed there by a mysterious benefactor. Nah. Common ground. Immediate alien neighbors now. Resource consolidation. Machine world is your home world. Nope. Uh, Calamitous birth. This one. Not native the home world. These lithoids arrived there when a meteor slammed into the planet, killed most of the native life. Nah. Uh, uh, he, hegemon, hemogeum, whatever. Civilization established early contact with their neighbors. Gradually, they masterminded the birth of interstellar union, in which they would have the dominant role. Nah. Doomsday, nah. We are ticking down. Lost colony, no. Necrophage, oh, yeah, I guess we have to do this. Nah. Civilization evolved as a parasite, feeding off other sapient life forms for growth. As it extends its reach across the galaxy, other species will come to uh, be seen either as apprentices to be brought into the fold or merely as food to sustain its growth might. Can convert pops of other species to the primary species. Interesting. Uh, only necrophage pops may be leaders. Start with 12 pops of the secondary pre-sapient species. Guaranteed habitable planets are instead primitive civilizations. Interesting. Okay. This is going to be really interesting. Byzantium bureaucracy is governed by a complex and outsider almost labyrinth system of bureaucracy. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know what we're doing here, by the way. Be a corporate, imperial, dictator, oligarchy. Probably got to be just oligarchy here. So I think we need fanatic militarists. No, 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 no. We want fanatic spiritualists. Yeah, we need to be fanatic spiritualists. Reason for that is, um, I mean, we're a death cult. We have to be spiritualists here. So we can't do another fanatic one. So authoritarian can enslave aliens, cannot use democratic government. Yeah, probably. Over militaristic? Yeah, I think so. I mean, xenophobe would probably be okay too, but you know, I don't mind other aliens. Yeah. So we're going to have a lot of influence then in Unity. Okay. I'm fine with that. Slaver guild. Uh, slave population resource output. Can I go back real quick? I just want to see this one. As it extends its reach, other species can be seen either as apprentices or merely as food. So then the question is, are we enslaving them? That's why I'm not entirely sure. Reanimated armies. That is no bar, masters of the art. I mean, this is apparently not the greatest thing in the world because, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter having reanimated armies because, like, anytime you actually launch an army, like, it's not, like, you're always going to immediately win. But I kind of feel like I need to pick it just for the hell of it. And then memorialist. Uh, can build sanctuary of the repos. Galactic memorials increase the stability, improves governing ethics on tomb worlds and relic worlds death chronicles turn consumer goods into unity society and research okay 
There's supposed to be three of these. What was the other one? Cutthroat politics. No, no, no. Moralist slaver guild. Death cult. Oh, we need to have death cult. What does death cult need? Does not have necrophage. What? So you're saying I can't pick the death cult if I'm necrophage. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, we have to be death cult, man. So I think I'm going to do post-apocalyptic then. Wait, what's this one? Has a lot of civilization prosper and grow. You know what? I'm actually okay with that one. Because the, we're, 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 you know, we're growing. We're growing under the death cult. I like that. And then we definitely need to have... Fanatic purifiers. Oh, yeah, yeah, No, no, no. Imperial cult. Uh, so it should be actually unlocked up here. Death cult. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we definitely want death cult, man. We definitely... Well, that's our name. That's our name. And then... Memorialist, I think, as well. I don't think I care about the undead army. Because you can only pick two. Okay. So we can either become oligarchy... No. Dictator, yes, probably. Imperial. Oh, no, let's do Imperial, man. Yeah, I don't care about uh, corporate. Okay, then we want the Necroid. I kind of like it. Sounds cool. Um, Divine Death Cult of the Soaring Imperium. Divine the Death Cult. Because <laughs> it added the. Divine Death Cult of Soaring Imperium. What about the Death Cult of the Saurian? Yeah, let's just get rid of Divine. The Death Cult of the Saurian Imperium, and then they'll cut. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So we are looking for a Death Cult kind of thingy. There's no. So what we would like is a skull, but remember, skull is going to be like very Earth like, human like. We could go Cthulhu here. I'm actually going to say that's maybe kind of these guys' skull. I mean, this actually looks a little bit more like their skull now that I say it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely need all black, right? Probably. Black and gray. Sure. Sure. And then we want the Necroid ships. They also now have the Imperial ships. This is new uh, with the DLC, with the Nemesis. But we're going to go Necroid. Please. Um, let's be a female. Not that, like, there's really any noticeable difference. <laughs> Chut Ux Noctali, Death Queen. I kind of like the Death Queen. That sounds like a really freaking awesome thing. Oct Ux Noctali, Zeus Ux Lak, uh, Zak, whatever, when? These are weird names, by the way. All right, we'll go with you. Sounds good. Color variations. There's only four. I kind of like the default. And then room. What's Death Cultish? That one. Sure. All right. Well, I think we're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and save this then. The Death Cult of the Saurian Imperium. We're going to go ahead and hit done. And... Do we just want to go medium? I think I'm just going to go medium so the game's a little bit faster. Uh, AI Empires. I think we leave everything as is. Primitive Civilization, Crisis Strength. I don't really this game is not eligible for achievements yeah i don't like to play with achievements on iron man because it gets annoying then um wormhole i don't think we really care about anything scaling difficulty is fine difficulty is commodore we'll go admiral i don't know what the default one is um man so the problem is the large maps get really long and laggy screw it we'll do it we'll do it all right so the goal here is to become the nemesis this took 20 minutes to get going, but, you know, it is what it is. We will uh, probably just go a little bit longer on this episode, and it's kind of important to pick yourself. So, in the end, since the first permanent, the death cult of Soren communities took... Okay, I probably should have renamed something. Uh, in the lagoons of Entropy's Promise, our civilization has spread and prospered. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the death cult of Soren Imperium have finished the development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what tech do we want here? Uh, probably energy credit money is always an interesting problem in this game, but you know getting extra research is always great, too 
And I think I'm gonna go energy right away. Then monthly unity, additional uh, edicts. Sure. Sure. And then minerals from jobs is kind of nice here. I'm not a huge fan of any of these, by the way. Like, none of these are like must takes. Um, just to begin with. The other thing is, we want to come here and look at our edicts. Fortify the border, veneration of saints. Uh, we should provide our spiritual guides with whatever they need to prepare us for the next. Interesting. Information quarantine. Okay. Stability plus five. Interesting. Sacrifice togetherness. The most deviant uh, devout among us are prepared to meet their fate. Ensuring that our society is brought closer together, let unity shine out into the lonely darkest space. Last five years, six months, kills all mortal initiates. Each one's sacrifice increases the odds of additional gains in unity up to 35%. Huh. Nice. Sacrifice harmony. Uh, gain... For one sacrifice... Each one sacrifice increases the odds of additional gains in pop happiness. Ah, or bounty. This is minerals and energy. I mean, I kind of like the idea of unity, because then we can just... Like, we want to get as much unity going as possible here. Uh, where is our unity? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we want as much as possible so we can get the ascension perk. And so then we are going to go with... Which actually is interesting is if we can grab this first. Galactic Wonders, Voidborn, Defenders of the Galaxy, Galactic Force... Mind over matter. Colossus. Become the crisis. Here you go. So, all great work requires sacrifice. The rest of the galaxy may not understand, but they will comply. So, becoming the crisis requires two other ascension perks to be selected first. All must be true. Must have xenophile ethic. Oh, all must be false. Gotcha. So the xenophile, yep, fanatic xenophile, pacifist, yep, yep, rogue servitor. Okay, 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 good, good, good. So we just need two other ones first, which we'll probably do like the fleet one, maybe like the death one or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. Um, Then what else are we wanting to look at here really quickly? Leader, species. Yeah, I mean, we kind of already know our species. I guess let's check out our home planet here. So we have two additional districts. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I probably want to go ahead and grab something that's going to give us some extra, like, upkeep. Probably the administrative one. Uh, but we don't have any money right now to actually get any of those. Okay. That kind of sucks. I like having the extra spots. Um, at least we're going to be earning a decent amount of crap here. And, I mean, you can see yeah, our, our, our gain right now is pretty okay. So... Where is our planet here? Uh, there we go. I thought we were supposed to be on a moon. Well, oh, I thought we were supposed to be on a moon. All right. Well, uh, do we start with, let's see. We start with a science ship and a construction ship. I think you always want to start with another science ship by building another one, right? I think. Where is my shipyard? There we go. Uh, give me another science ship, please. Thank you. And then, I'm trying to remember, it's been a year since we played the game, okay? So, I need a minute here. <laughs> uh, construction ship, we can go ahead and send you over here to build a mining station. Uh, and then, yeah, there's some science over there. Luckily, everything else we already have, which is kind of nice. And I think we're good to go here. Other than, let's go ahead and send out uh, our science ship to explore. So, this is our galaxy. That's fine. I think I want to go... I think I want to go this way because I feel like there's probably going to be dudes this way so we're going to want to expand this way and cut off whoever is going to be over in this direction okay I think we're good to on pause correct is there anything we're missing right now you need to build some stuff but like I can't do anything with that I'm trying to think oh 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 I wanted to look at policies yes so we're expansionist supremist that all will bow before them. Interesting. Supremacy traditions need to be finished for we, us to get that. Belligerent. I like the idea of expansionist, man. Yeah. War philosophy. Unrestricted wars. We like. Uh, we're going to be indiscriminate or bombing. That's fine. Resettlement allowed. Uh, first contact. We're going to be aggressive. Do you wish to change? Yeah, I want to be aggressive, man. We're never aggressive, man. Initial border status. I want close. Economic is military, yes. Trade policy, 
is going to be wealth creation. Yeah, probably. Robotic workers, that's fine. We can use them. Population are going to be allowed. Slavery is allowed. Good. And purge is... We want allowed. We don't have xenophobes, so we can't do it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and that's not how you increase the speed in this game. How do you increase the speed again? It's not a number. Whatever. Uh, the new heir to our empire will take the throne when our current ruler dies. Oh, you know, we should probably look at our ruler here. Hello. So, our death cult, she is 2 of 6, age 35. She's going to live... Can I actually see her age? I want to... How do you unlock their age length? I don't remember. So, she's currently doing prop growth and happiness. Yeah, it's fine. Cannot build temple buildings. Oh, can build. Yes, yes, yes. And then our heir is 31. I thought we get to vote on our one. Our government. Huh. Whatever. Let's go speed two, because speed three seems a little close. Isn't there five speeds, though? No, there's only three. Okay, I'm thinking of, I guess, a different game. Another science ship finished. We are going to need a leader, so we're going to have to go ahead and recruit another scientist, please. Uh, let's see. Research speed, research speed, and then you're a freaking... Oh, my God. Uh, I need 200 energy, so we'll have to wait a minute. But, yeah, we're going to want the, the spark of genius for sure. How do we end up going there? Okay, so you're over here. Anything special that we can see? No, not really. Uh, we're at 200, so let's go ahead and get ourselves another leader. What's the leader hockey? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, too much talking here. There is no hockey for leaders. Okay, well, that sucks. Uh, so give me you, and then let's go... You're surveying. You're engineering research. Where'd have a spark of genius? Oh, this is manacle, not spark of genius. Oh, dang, dude. So we had two freaking uh, spark of geniuses and a freaking manacle that is crazy good that is psychotic how good that is to begin with so we're gonna go ahead and replace you with the manacle and then my other ship because what's great is the leader speed gain is also gonna then apply uh when we send you out so let's go ahead and grab you and let's go this way and you can go survey the system okay yeah we might as well go speed three there's nothing else happening right now Construction. We need a bunch of money, remember, before we can build some more stuff uh, in um, on our home world. And then you're going to go over here and build a research station. We're just going to have you enter orbit. You're going to take a minute. We're at least making a decent amount of materials right now, which is good. Yeah, and there's nothing else. Oh, no, there is one right here to build, too. Okay. So if we wanted to build a building, can we start with the temple right away? Sacrificial Temple gives us one death priest and one uh, mortal initiate job. They turn consumer goods into unity, society research, and amenities. I mean, yeah. And then here's our temple. Death Chronicles. Oh, no, no, no. This is the Chronicle one. So we can't build the temple yet? Oh, we already have a Sacrificial Temple. All right, then. Good. 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 Then we don't need another one. And we have administrative offices here, so we probably don't need another one as well. Uh, where's our empire size restriction? Which one is that? That's here. The administrative office increases that, right? Doesn't it? Into administrative capacity jobs. And then... Let me... I'm trying to remember everything on this game right here. Researcher, death priest, enforcer, bureaucrat, metallurgist, and artisan. Rulers as administrator. Which they produce unity, actually. Huh. Okay. Okay. I don't think we need amenities here, right? No, we're good on amenities. We have no crime. We actually have two available jobs as well. So then, I think we might... I mean, alloys, the foundries are really good. But we don't have that many minerals right now. So I think we probably would just want to go ahead and get something that's going to give us extra energy, right? Storage capacity, we don't care about. Stronghold. Where's the freaking energy buildings? You know what? We hadn't researched those. We hadn't seen them yet. That's what's going on here. Hmm. Okay. Well, then we'll probably end up just throwing out the... Sacrificial, not the the sanctuary here. 
All right, so we recovered artifacts from ancient alien civilization at Elder 3A from what we have translated. Uh, we've learned that these aliens called themselves the Erasian Concordant. They were interstellar power that had sway over the region of the galaxy over millennia. Uh, million years ago, they appear to have been six limb mammalians. There are several references to plague collected the Javorian pox, which slept across their empire, probably leading their ex uh, extermination. Okay, so Sanctuary of Repose is probably what we'll do here. Now, unfortunately, it has upkeep on minerals, which sucks, but okay. Oh, okay. We just finished the research station. Where was that, by the way? Was that here? Does that... Oh, that actually didn't give us... Okay, that didn't give us anything then. Never mind. I thought that would give us uh, uh, some, like, uh, something to do. So you're moving over here. Contact Remnants. So the death cult is a buzz with news of the alien remnants that were recently studied. They're considered definitely proof of intelligence. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. We're going to build another mining station. We have a tradition available. Ooh. Probably you're going to want supremacy. Then again, getting an extra 20 years on our leader lifespan seems kind of crazy. Governing ethics, stability. What What's the final one? So, food consumption is less. And lowers empire sprawl. This one gives us development speed by 25. All your plans to build one additional district. Eh. Starbase capacity is increased by 2. Army damage by 20%. I mean, we're going to want that eventually. What about domination? Clear blocker? Eh. Prosperity. Mining station output is, is complete. Uh... Yeah, that's kind of nice. Building upkeep lord saves us some money. Man, I kind of feel like we have to do this one. Discovery is also interesting to get really early. Because anomaly research speeds increased by 20%. Survey speeds increased by 35%. Extra research alternatives. What's the final one increases research by 10%? I I actually think we want to do discovery. It's not going to totally fit with the LARPing, but I think we need to do it from the standpoint of if we're going to be the crisis, I don't know if we become the crisis, we're going to get a boost to science, but if we're going to be fighting the entire universe by ourselves, I kind of feel like we want to make sure we're a little ahead on tech. So I think doing this early on is going to probably be worth it. Get us as much tech as possible. Okay, can I build a building now? No, because I need 360 minerals. A Meh. Oh, I totally forgot that you were done. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, go survey this system. You finished here, so go survey this one. And construction ship is about to finish. Now, what really freaking sucks here is there's, like, nothing here. Like, to build the starbase here... The upkeep is almost the cost. <laughs> like, it's basically going to be almost the exact same, which kind of sucks. So that's fine. So we need 360 minerals, which is just going to take forever. All right, so we actually found an anomaly. Uh, so they periodically spews... It per periodically spews an uh, alarmingly electric mix of particles and radiation to the void. It's very hard. It's going to take a little bit. Might as well do it. So it's going to take a while. Which, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, something like four years? But whatever. Okay, this is actually not a bad territory to go to next. Construction venture complete. Good, good, good. So then go ahead and build a mining station there. Please. Construction. Anomaly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're waiting for 360, so there's still nothing we can build here. Are any of the other ones? We could build the resource silo. They give you amenities. Just not a huge fan of it. Like, as long as we have amenities, we don't really need it. We actually have a lot of housing here, too. Still available. The other thing is... We could also go ahead and start building some more of these. No, I can't, because... We need a lot more money before we can afford that. Oi. Oi, oi. Yeah, I don't know we really want any of the buildings right now. Even though we have an extra two slots. But, okay, next tradition. We want the anomaly. Survey increased by 35%. Research alternatives is really nice. Research subsidies. Station output increased by 
Oh wait, was this one the 20? Oh, the 20% anomaly was on you. You know what? Science is level capped by two. And the extra, um, the extra tech options are great here. Which we could go switch it right now. Cause we should have an extra one. Uh, apparently we don't, weird. But that's fine. Construction okay, so we're gonna immediately send you over here. Uh, what do we need to? Oh, it's not been fully surveyed. Yeah, but we'll get you over there. And there's actually a planet here, Ocean World, so we can go habitat that one. Kind of sucks because it's not really that close to us, but that's fine. How long do you got here, buddy? You're about halfway done. Actually, it said 28%. That's your level here. <laughs> there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I want you. Enter orbit. Okay, he's sitting there. That's good. Quite a few stuff here for us to uh, explore, which is good. So this is going to be a pretty decent world for us. Um, a small rectangular object on this planet is deflecting all scanning. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now because I want to finish exploring this before we go grab that. So we now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... We have more important manners. Now we'll go ahead and do the um, Habitable World Survey event chain. I don't remember what it actually gives you when you finish it, but uh, hey, I still want you to keep doing this. Oh no, you're actually done. Never mind. Okay, well there you go. I didn't realize that was the last planet. I thought there was another one. Uh, governor is leveled up. Cool. So our scientists are going to level up here fairly quickly, which is awesome. And they also got an extra two levels. And, um, you know what? We might want to rush here. Just so our dudes live even longer. Ah, they live to 160. Ah, we got plenty of time then. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Yeah, we want the increased lifespan. Definitely. Oh, we got tons of money now. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and then grab ourselves the Sanctuary Repose, which will give us Unity and Society Research. Production is 6 Society and 13 Unity, and it costs 2 food, 4 amenities. We're making 24 food, so this is totally acceptable for us. Like it. We have another one here. Um, leader Experience Gain by 25%. Yes. Please. So our scientist's level cap is now what? That seems kind of crazy. So your level cap is two of nine. Oh my God. Wow, I've never gotten like the super levels like this. So while conducting service scans of Tarome 6, science officer, Huki, whatever, and the crew of the ISS, whatever, discovered what appears to be artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other sign of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural comes to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project. Yay! Special projects. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go ahead. We need one scientist there. He's right there. So we will go ahead and translate it. Hopefully we can get some fun stuff out of this. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and, well, build a mining station. We will start with the mineral one because that's what we're lacking. Oh, you know, I should have gone for maybe the six mineral one first, but whatever. We're fine. We can build that as soon as we're done here. Dude, the speed three is kind of quick. I like it. I think I usually play speed two. I think I usually do. I also really like this leader, uh, the voiceover pack for this one. Yeah, it's kind of nice. A special project. Okay, so science officer Huchi has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered. It's a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire. Did they happen to die from a disease by chance? They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural. Oh, never mind. Uh, were the creator whatever given that the mural has been dated to the ss of 300 million years old it's likely the craters are also extinct by now perhaps most interesting is all is the material the mural was made of despite its age it's remarkably good condition okay so we don't really get anything nice from that just like oh hey we got it yay happy days okay so you can go survey over here oh i was unpaused which is kind of unfortunate uh we want you to go oh wait we want you to go build just go build mining stations. Thank you. How long you got? You're almost done. 
So we're going to want to get colonizer ships because I'm fairly certain we... Actually, no. It was an option, wasn't it? Yeah, we can actually start with the colony ship. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get our first colony ship going. Scientists leveled up. Scientists leveled up. Beautiful. Yeah, because we will have... By the time you pop out, we'll be able to send you over here. Um, our fleet... I don't know if we really have to worry about piracy right now. We'll just go ahead and patrol for now. I mean, it's not like we really have a fleet. We have a couple ships. Scientists are all leveling up. That's great. Like, where is our fleet, by the way? Uh, let's see what they look like. Yeah, those are awesome, dude. Yeah, I like them. This is not a great star to, like, view them in, though. Because <laughs> it's so dark. Can we, can we pop to the construction ship? We cannot. All right, well, let's look at the science ship. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, that's freaking awesome, dude. Is that like his drive engine? No, that's the front of the ship. Huh. I wonder if that's maybe the engine. I mean, the engine could be in the front. You know, if it's like, you know, car engines in the front. Most of the time in space, you know, you always have the engines in the back, but you know, doesn't necessarily mean it has to work that way. Yeah, you're pretty okay. And then let's look at our star base. Where are you? You're right here. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Can we build some defense platforms? We can. I'm going to build a couple. I'm not really planning early war, but, you know, we are going to be a very aggressive. I mean, that, well, actually, that's the plan is for us to be very aggressive here. So we need to get you going over here as quickly as possible. Illicit matter uh, finds a disturbing tangle of technology in a deep crater on an asteroid surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole. Okay, they assert that the asteroid is an exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, somewhere light years away from a black hole, and small quantities of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned into the wormhole. Interesting. Interesting. So dark matter deposit found. Strategic discovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the dark matter. What planet was that? Oh, that was this one. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. So we want to get a ship over there and start expanding that way as well. Now, we got to be careful here that we don't go too far with our empire sprawl. Leaders leveled up. That's fine. Uh, let's see. So pops working with research now have their upkeep reduced by 20%. Is that something that's actually happening right now? I don't think it is. Uh, no, we do. But it's only two pops. So it's not a lot. The other option is survey speed increased by 35%. I like that. Because that's all we're doing right now. Surveying. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to get over here. I'm pretty sure you're in the middle. You are. So, small docking hatch leading to the interior of an asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on the surface. Hatch was likely concealed once, but it's been exposed. That was this other one again. Okay, buddy. Have fun. Um, research it. Go ahead and take it, because you're right there. Construction ship is currently waiting. I know we need to go grab that one. I'm not super worried. We are no longer building a building. I can actually upgrade you, but I need some um, gases, which I don't have. I don't think we're going to... I mean, I could grab more research. That actually might be the plan. You know what? Let's do it. Give me some more research jobs. All right. There's our colony ship. We're going to send you over here and get you ready to colonize. Now, energy credits go to crap when you're colonizing, but I think we're still going to be okay at this point. Derelict shipyard. We probably need another science ship here. A large portion of the asteroid has been hollowed out allowing for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It's been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it's already been looted. The design of the shipyard itself is unique. However, much it could potentially be used. Okay, not bad. Monthly unity. Research complete. Nice. 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 So we got crazy unity going right now. Probably give me extra administrative cap. I mean, don't get me wrong, pop growth speed seems amazing, but we are almost at our empire sprawl. So I'm gonna go grab that. All right, you, dude, this is a great system. Um, okay, so give me 
another science ship. Yeah, give me another two science ships. That's fine. We got ways we can go. We got things we can do. Dude, speed three is so crazy. Wait, are you done? Oh, yeah, you're currently done. Ah, build Starbase. Then I want you to go survey this system, please. Science ship is done. We need another leader. Actually, what's our leader? Oh, yeah, there's no leader caps anymore. Uh, anomaly discover chance. Hell yeah. Research speed, research speed. Yeah, no, no. So give me you, Mr. Kaku. Go survey this one. And we're just waiting for our borders to pop up here. Uh, engineering research finished. What did we finish? What what did we just research? Nah, 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 frick. Ah! Administrative capacity. What? Research. There we go. Uh, engineering. Army damage. Oh, yeah. But actually, extra minerals is what we were looking for. Mining station output is kind of nice. Minerals from miners is also great, but we really like we'd get it from the star base, but not from miners because we don't have miners right now. I think the just general 10% mining is going to help us with both minerals and energy credits. So I think we're going to roll with that one. Uh, we finished our other science ship. Yeah, we did. Dang. OK, next leader, leader experience gain. Sure, because I don't like the other two. And then you can come go survey this way. Beautiful. All right. So first things first, technology is done. So we're getting extra energy credits. Well, not really, but we're getting a little bit. Probably research speed. Survey speed plus 25% though. I don't really care about automatic surveying because like I, I kind of like controlling them a little bit, but you know, that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and colonize. Hold up. Colony ship. Do I have to actually click the planet? Apparently I have to actually click the planet. Colonize planet. Ramus Prime. Yeah, let's do the gift of Xenoxia. Sure. Sure. And then Mr. Builder, go ahead and build a mining station there. We could get another construction ship going, but eh, I'm not super worried about it. So, the first, the death cult of Soren Colony. Uh, the first, the death cult. Yeah, I really messed that one up. Our colony ship has made a gentle splashdown in the planet ocean of the gifts just off the shores of large archipelago. This fertile island chain will serve as an excellent first landing site. It's been permanently anchored. Yay, 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 yay. Great day for the death cult of the Soren Imperium. Yay. Actually, extra research. Kind of nice. Um, okay, so this is a crater. Let's go ahead and just research that one right away. Because we're going to actually send you over here. So you're done here in Ramos. I want you to come and starbase this one because that's a crazy good spot for us. New tradition. Ha! <sighs> Research from Starbase construction is increased. Research station outpost. Research station. Research from Starbase constructions. Wait, there's a Starbase? That's why I'm confused. Hold up. You can build research on these? I guess I don't remember being able to build research ones here. That's what it's saying, right? Huh. I'm not entirely sure. I think I will take the extra research, though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. This one's slightly better than this one. It's not like we're spending that much food, and our food is actually pretty fine right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, a class 12 asteroid appears, orbits this planet. The small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for the presence to be natural occurrence. All right, keep researching. I think that's this one up here, isn't it? I don't know. That might be somewhere else. Asteroid collision. A long mineral-rich asteroid collected at some point. Okay, so plus three. Nice. That was here. That was that one. Nice. Uh, our Death Queen has leveled up. Beautiful. Beautiful. What what bonuses is she actually giving us? Mm-hmm. It's not going to be in her leaders, right? Wait, is that our actual leader? That might actually be our leader. No, that's not you. Where is just our thing here? Hold up. 
Society management? No. Ship designer, technology, factions, species. No, that's our whole species. Forgetting where everything is listed here. Oh, that's also not Queen. That's Quinn, by the way, Brian. <laughs> Mortal Empire. Is this the founder species? Player Empire. Contacts. There's a... I'm looking for a specific... Oh, it's this one right here. I think. Yeah, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So what is she currently giving us right now? Monthly minerals. I'm trying to figure out... So, okay. It looks like... She's given us edict duration plus 15% and unity 9%. Which, okay, so the Strange. unity is fine. Toad asteroid. All right, cool, plus three. Nice. Oh my god, calm down. So we discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed volatile moats. Nice. Go ahead and research that one while we're at it. Um, I did want to actually think maybe we do want to run. You know, here's what's great. If we ever run short on food, we can always sacrifice someone. Priest output, starbase upgrade speed, starbase capacity. Eh, I was actually thinking, survey the s stars would be great. I need 180 influence for that one. Leader experience gain by 25%, 900 gold. I'm actually gonna run that one. Yeah. Yeah, give me all the leader experience because we got a ways to go and you know what we're at 51 minutes let's go ahead and wrap this first episode up here so hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did drop a like comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game comment show your support uh we do have a idle ship so uh actually hold up you never no 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 got to, uh, research anomalies there you go what why can't you research the anomaly oh he is researching the anomaly then where's this guy? Oh, he's way over here. Why? What? Uh, whatever. Whatever. Let's go ahead and stick towards the center for now. Um, not really much over in this direction. Probably want to come down here. Mm, then again. Trade value there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which way we're going to go. But we'll figure that out next episode. Till then, bye everyone.